Hello, I'm Mary Morrissey and this is a short introduction to the idea of Gothic literature. I'll try to answer three questions. What is Gothic literature? Why is it called Gothic? And what is distinctive about Gothic literature? Firstly, what is Gothic literature? The Oxford English Dictionary gives this among the several meanings of the word Gothic. A genre of fiction characterised by suspenseful, sensational plots involving supernatural or macabre elements and often, especially in early use, having a medieval theme or setting. Let's look at the elements of this definition. The plot is sensational. That means that it's designed to create an emotional response in the reader. We are shocked by sudden plot twists, or we are made anxious by suspense, the delaying of a solution to the crisis that the protagonist faces. This is a kind of fiction that uses non-realist literary techniques. Supernatural things happen, and this baffles the protagonist. Some of these things are macabre. That means they're associated with death. And lastly, these are stories often set in an earlier time. In 18th century Gothic literature, this setting was often in the Middle Ages, somewhere between the 12th and the 15th century. The characters in the story are therefore presented as having different, perhaps more superstitious, perhaps less scientific attitudes than those assumed to be held by the readers of the story. So why is this kind of fiction with sensational plots and supernatural elements called Gothic? The first Gothic novel, Horace Walpole's Castle of Otranto from 1764, was described as a Gothic story on its title page. It had a medieval setting and indeed Walpole even claimed in the first edition that he had found the story in an ancient manuscript. So what was it that made Walpole associate the word Gothic? with his medieval story. Another of the dictionary's definition of the word Gothic is that it is characteristic of the Middle Ages. And this comes from the term Gothic used to describe the architectural style common from the 12th to the 15th centuries. This is a style best known for its pointed arches and flying buttresses. It will be familiar to many of us from England's medieval churches and cathedrals. This is a style of building that is very different to the classical style that inspired 18th century builders and artists. It was considered extravagant and barbarous even. It was considered ill-proportioned. For many people in the 18th and 19th century, the Middle Ages were associated with superstition and belief in the supernatural. The romances written in the Middle Ages, the story of King Arthur and the Round Table Knights, were still well known, and these were grand tales of adventures that often invoked wonders, miracles and even magic. Gothic literature was designed to give readers of the 18th and 19th century some of the excitement of these medieval tales. So the distinctive features of Gothic literature are a plot that has adventure and suspense, Extraordinary things happen to the protagonist and the reader is sometimes left unsure of her fate. Characters cannot trust the evidence of their own senses. Impossible, magical and supernatural things seem to happen. These are sometimes macabre, associated with death. The story is often set in less enlightened times, like the Middle Ages. Characters in the story, it is suggested, are less rational than the novel's readers. I hope you find this helpful.